Hi, welcome. Okay, so what a pinhole theater basically is, is this box that you're going to do a lot of things to. You're going to cut in a hole for your head so that you're going to be able to see these two pieces of paper that you're going to put on the opposite end that are going to basically act as your sort of projector screen. That's what you'll be seeing images on later. And then you're going to put this piece of aluminum foil on the end that's going to be behind your head after you cut out a little square for the aluminum foil to fit in. And once you do that, tape everything in nice and good and make sure that there's no um, sources for light to get in through. Then you're going to poke a little pinhole inside the aluminum foil and this should be preferably around the center but it depends on what your preference is where you want to see the images come through from. Um, anyways, after you do that, you're going to find a nice outside area where there's like items that you can clearly see around you that are easily identifiable. And it should be also preferably sunny. And when you go outside, you're going to put your head in, block out any sources of light, and look around and hopefully the preferred effect is that you're going to see an image cast on that white screen that I said earlier. And the image, in a way, is going to be altered. It's going to be most likely upside down and probably altered with the left um, being the right now. They switched. And this is an effect that can be altered depending on how big the pinhole is or where you put it. But that's the basic effect that should be happening in the theater.
Once we were done finishing our box, we tried it out and it didn't work. We were really disappointed, so what we had to do was add and subtract variables to the box's structure. So we adjusted the size of the pinhole in the back and we added duct tape to the sides, like the rims and edges of the box to make a darker interior. What we also did was we went to different locations to see if um, indoor LED lighting um, was different in comparison to outdoor sunlight and it kind of did make a difference but the only real improvement that we had in the structure of the box was the size of the pinhole in the back. So what had happened was in the end we were only able to see the shape and the silhouette of the light behind us. So if I was facing this way and the the paper was right here and the pinhole was in the back, I was able to see the light of, let's say, a lamp or a light bulb in the ceiling above in front of me, but I wasn't able to see anything else like couches or plants or trees that were behind me. So we went into different places like Jordan's room and we covered up her LED lights in the ceiling with different colored glass cups to see if we were able to distinguish color in our, um, pinhole theater and that actually kind of worked <laughs> we were really excited about that but it wasn't necessarily the color it was the dimness of the light that was projected to the front so we were able to see um, a bright white light in the theater and then when we um, altered the color of the LED light to maybe a blue it was a duller color in the theater or if it was a red it was more of a softer orange color in the theater but there weren't any real uh, changes to our original findings. We were able to see images in the theater because of the reflection of light coming in through the pinhole. The wave coming from the light source, in this case a light bulb, is traveling from that source onto an object, reflecting off of that object and then into the pinhole where it's projected onto the white screen and you can see an image of what the light reflected off of. On a bright, clear, sunny day, you can see all of your surroundings reflected onto the white screen, but it'll be upside down, left, right, re reversed. How this all works solely depends on how the light is hitting the hole. If you're looking at, let's say, a tree, the light will be bouncing off of and reflecting off of every single point on that tree, and the light rays will be carrying an image of that exact point that it bounced off of. These light rays will hit the outside of the box, except for that one single point where the hole is, which will be passing through it. Now because all these light rays are aiming for that one single point, all the rays from the top of the tree will be hitting the bottom of the hole, and all the rays from the bottom of the tree will be hitting the top of the hole. And the same goes to the left and right. The left side of the tree will be hitting the right side of the hole, and the right side of the tree will be hitting the left side of the hole. This effect creates the upside down, left, right, reverse image and why we don't see what we would normally see. For our experiment, it was a cloudy day. The sun wasn't really out, it didn't work well, we couldn't really see anything. So we decided to see to go inside and see if it would work better with synthetic lighting, in which it did. Not having that natural light coming in changed what we saw and resulted in us only seeing the image of the light bulb and the fixture around it. We believe this happened because the light ray wasn't strong enough to be hitting all the objects around the room, reflecting off of them, and then projecting a clear, strong image of that onto the screen. The strongest rays were coming from the light bulb itself and not hitting anything or bouncing off of anything, causing us to only see the image of a light bulb on the screen. Okay, so what a pinhole theater actually is, is this little box that you're going to have. Well, not little, actually. Mm. Wait, what am I measuring again? So it's four Wait, seven. No. How this works, it all depends on how the light is. <laughs> okay, stop it. That you, um, crap. <laughs> Hi, so I'm Prairie and my partner is Carolina Salci- mm. The hole will hit the top. Ugh.
give up my zipper. <laughs> <laughs> the hole will be be hitting. Everyone's saying that. What the frick? We made a. Mm. Ow. Oh. Are you okay? I think I got oh, that I on camera.